Hi, today we are discussing about the job opportunities in petroleum industry. Petroleum industry is a very important industry in the world as well as in India and other countries. Petroleum industry got various type of divisions. You see, there are three main divisions. One is upstream, another is midstream, another is called uh, downstream. So upstream means exploration, trading, production, and etc. And midstream means transportation and tra transportation to the refinery, etc. And the downstream is always refinery, refines the petroleum and into different products, petroleum, gasoline, diesel and other products. So basically today we are discussing mostly about the upstream industry. I am NR Pillay. I was general manager of a very big oil company in India. I got 34 years experience in oil drilling and gas technology. I was, in, I was working in drilling, production, job, logistic and EPC contracts. EPC contracts means lot of it is, lot of money was invested for the exploration of the oil and gas and exploration and exploitation of the oil and gas so various types of platforms various types of subsea pipeline all are being made in epc contract and i was uh, project management project manager of all these projects in india and abroad and today we are mostly discussing about the upstream industry job career of the upstream industries. But you, need, you know when we are studying in the final year engineering diploma or 10 plus 2 exam, we got a A. What you have to become? To become that experience, what you are thinking is how to get a job. For getting a job, in the final year examination itself, in the end of the year, there is a lot of recruitment agencies which are seeking the appointments for all these things. Basically, these appointments are for software, hardware, manufacturing, production and consumer goods like that. A lot of various fields they are doing. Ultimately, the most important job is from for the oil and gas industry. That was the most attractive part of the element. Why do you want to select oil and gas industry? There are a lot of advantages and disadvantages of that. I will talk about the advantages. Fresh engineers and diploma holders can get a easy uh, job in oil industry. Oil industry, what they are doing, taking the people and giving in-house training in the onshore and offshore fields and then getting absorbed in the regular pattern. So you know that the whole system of appointment is based on the fresh graduate. So first advantage is getting appointment as a fresh graduate. Second is, you see, rotation policy. Rotation policy means you can work in 30 days and you can get 30 days off in oil, whether it is onshore or offshore, 30 days on and offshore. And then you are getting money, the lot of money in dollars. Dollars is very important. And then third is you are you can get multi country visit to the multi multinational companies as well as multi, so many countries abroad. That is multiple countries you can visit. Then third is that you can have what is that in addition to your salary and all these things, incentive, other perks are also there. And it is one of the very attractive field in oil and gas industry.
the disadvantages are disadvantages means there is not of it is not a white collar job so you have to work in the field with your own hand that is onshore and offshore and you may have to work in the remote areas like desert and other places and offshore life is also there and third disadvantage or advantage it is very advantageous to work in oil field and now i think what are the different disciplines in engineering or diploma in oil industry first is mechanical electrical civil instrumentations geologist um, industrial engineering cementing engineering fishing engineering so, so there is lot of program industrial engineering that means you can uh, correct your work study on the industry what are the operation be done and you can reduce the production you can increase the production by reducing the time element involved that is industrial engineering so you got different types of engineering connected with these things and any which a civil engineer can get a job whether it is instrument engineer can get a job so all these engineers are we really getting a job whether you are engineer or diploma holder even 10 plus 2 students also can join in the in the oil industry recently there was a lot of recruitment for 10 plus 2 for uh, companies like ongc like that they are taking these people as mechanics in different fields okay so you got a lot of scope in getting these things in the oil industry so and the advantages and disadvantages also i have already talked over now the job opportunities in oil industries are there are one first point is that exploration exploration mostly concerned with geologists and geophysicists so if you are a graduate in geology or geophysics you can get a job in geology then you talk about the rig job. Rig job starts with the reservoir and then floor man and then derrick man and uh, assistant rigger, driller, tool pusher, rig manager. So all these various points are there in the rig. In addition to rig, you see lot of things are being done as a specialized job. Specialized jobs are basically cementing is a specialized job, wire line is a specialized job, and then fishing is a specialized job, pumping is a specialized job, high pressure pumps are being used for various jobs. Then after doing all this rig job, there is people who can be experienced in the HSC, that means safety. Safety also can be one of the safety. Suppose you are in a boat and I boat, you can easily enter into the uh, oil stream. There is a lot of scope for them. Then there is a lot of scope for the uh, different jobs in the rig. In addition to the then after rigging, it is going for a workover operation. Workover operation means after drilling the well, then you are getting the production as for, for the oil and gas. For production, there is a specialized rig for that. They also got different types of discipline for that. Then wireline jobs, wireline E-line, wireline, different types of wireline jobs is there. So then, I, the, if, suppose the oil is not coming, there is a Lifting method is how to let the oil down. That is a specialized job. Yeah, yeah that, that is a specialized job which requires additional expertise like this thing. Pumping, extra pumping the oil from there. Okay, that is a, that is sucker rod pump facility. And other, that, is, that is also been done specialized team. Or if you can have electrical pumping, jet pumping, artificial methods, gas lifting, all these things are also part of this drilling oil and gas department. 
So there is an every scope to get into this field. And roster board. Roster board is a very easy, attractive. Ten plus two students can easily be observed there. And in after this, all this available, whatever discipline available for appointment, you have been been taken for a training, in-house training on safety, S2S, uh, software, in-house software, Excel, in-house uh, training program for all. Uh, internship, etc., is done, and then you can be observing it. How to get a job? How to get? What is the awareness to get a job? Is more important. That awareness is coming through. You are. You have to contact the different companies which are working on that. So get your day by data. Send it to your email. Talk and take the help of Google. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, you can get a lot of friends who can be in the LinkedIn. Uh, through the LinkedIn contact, you can have a job. Then you have to attend what is called a SPE, Society of Petroleum Engineers. Their conference, that conference, if you are attending, technical conference, if you are attending, you will get a lot of contact with them. With the help of these people, also you can get a a job. Now, in India, there are so many oil companies which is working in India. That is called ONGC, Oil India, Reliance Petroleum, BPCL, IUC, uh, then Kane Energy, Vedanta. All these companies are also working in ONGC. They get the job through subcontractors also. So you can enter the people through the subcontractor and get some experience in oil field and get many type of experience and you can go GCC countries and work there. So after getting the job, you can go to multinational companies like Chevron, Exxon, uh, Halliburton, Swimberger. All these people you can contact them and get uh, the job. They, and also these people take the paper and they got training centers in England, England, Russia, Japan, America, all these places and they will give uh, training to you for accuracy and effectiveness and your sharp reaction. Then you can get a lot of jobs in that countries also. So there is a lot of scope for you to develop your life in oil and gas. There is a lot of these things. So awareness is very say, talk to the people concerned by your data, email them. If the email is not they are not responding, contact the HR man of that company, talk to them and then get the feedback and then again talk to them if they are not first responding. You have to pressurize, you have to act, you have to be very active and this and then only you will get a job. So there is every possibility you can get a job easily or if you do a lot of work and hard work will make you fetch you a very lot of interesting jobs for you. Not only drilling, there is a lot of possibilities in other fields like what I have told, specialized jobs, oil drilling, logging, all these things are very important, cementing. So, on these jobs, work over operations, you will fetch you a good job. So, I suggest you please join Petro uh, uh, Show uh, in Cochin and get the training, get the certificate, then try to get through any subcontract in onshore, onshore, and get the job. And I, I wish all of you a bright future. Thank you.